Hey, it's me, guys, again. Um, as you know, I put um only one video up so far. Um, all my reptiles and amphibians. I uh, I'm doing pretty good with that. And now it's gonna be how to find worms and bugs for your reptiles and amphibians. But I'm not gonna put reptiles and amphibians as the title. Just go, I'm just gonna show you how to, you know, do it right now. All right, the glare on the sun is pretty intense. So, yeah, okay. Um, I have to go with the shade, so I'm gonna pick up the worms. All right, right here are like worms, and uh, you could f use them to feed your frog. Or a turtle that likes to eat worms. Or maybe even you could do it for, like, let's say a lizard that eats worms. Alright, so I'm going to put these guys back and I'll show you how to get them. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Frank, how do you change it? Alright, um, so... Alright, you, let's say you have like lots of rocks in your backyard. You could, alright, first off, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna skip anything. I want you to get everything you need. First off, you're gonna need some rocks or some equipment that isn't too heavy, like a boulder that can squish you. <sighs> or you need some light, not too light. Or else bugs won't go under there. So, let's say, like a flower pot that you have never used. And it just sits in the backyard all the time and you don't want to throw it out. Or I think you could put it on its side and use it as it. Like, alright, I want to show you what you could do. You could take this and put it on its side. And, if, and if that's only like a rain trick. Like, saying for rain only. So, and if you like, if it rains out, you should definitely put use that idea. So, you know. Um, uh, that's only for rain. But if it's not like a hot summer, you're going to need something heavier, like, like this. This solid big boulder, but I'm not saying you gotta have it that big. You can do it like this one. It has nice shape. And I would go with flat, because if it's like weird and jaggedy at the bottom, and there's missing chunks at the bottom where you put it on the ground, it's like it's gonna be all surfacey and nothing's gonna work. And if you're wondering how I know all this, I don't, I don't just go out there and say it. I have to try the experiment first and see if it works. So now you should definitely know that now you know it's going to work. Definitely. All right. So let's say you have a, a Buddha in your backyard. Like, and it's, it's pretty heavy and it's a good size like this. Um, you could lift it. You might find a little, what you don't want, like some weird rolly bugs. And if you want rolly bugs, that's going to be a little good. Um, all right, so underneath here are, is a pretty big worm. I'm going to try to get him if he doesn't go in this hole. Uh, he ripped in half. I'm not interested in that. So, but, oh, there's one right here. I got another one. This little guy was underneath the Buddha. And... Sometimes there's dirt clumps underneath, and like then it can be all like like they'll go underneath there. So if there's dirt clumps at the bottom on the bottom of the Buddha or rock, you should look through that because it it could have a worm stuck in it or a bug or anything you could want for your animal. So if you're like a snail and you need a snail for an animal would try with it, like one thing you would need is you could go like, let's say you have a wooden fence, 
You should wait like until it rains and then see this big huge snail and this little guy. He's probably not that big. And that little tiny one. I mean you'll you'll find them if it rains. So that that's a promising sign. And uh, you know it, if you know that like uh you should only get it if you should always feed your animals. I'm not saying like you should never feed them snails, but I don't, I don't think an animal would want to eat a snail because they have a hardened shell. Now, if you're looking for slugs, that's another thing you could have. If it rains out, then you can look in plants in your backyard. And if it doesn't rain, you're gonna like. It's just like the worms. You could look underneath uh, like a Buddha or rock. So you just gotta be careful with this stuff because sometimes spiders could go under and uh, they might bite you. You should wear gloves though, even though I'm barehanded. But I know you should definitely be careful. You shouldn't be picking up any bug that you don't know. You should know the bug first. What? what species it is and if it's poisonous or not. So, that's it. So, bye.